Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to add and subtract fractions the easiest way possible. This is a basic method that anyone can follow and never forget how to do them. Let's take a look at some examples. Say if we had 1 on 2 plus 1 on 4. What we first need to do is multiply the denominators together. So in this case, 2 times 4 which is 8, and we write that in the position of the denominator under the division line. And then secondly, we multiply the top number or the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. So let's multiply it again. 1 times 4 is 4. And then we carry over the addition sign, plus. And then we also multiply this, the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So 1 times 2 is 2. We then simply go ahead and add the 4 and the 2, which is 6. And then we keep our original denominator of 8, and we get 6 on 8. We can leave this here, but we can uh, actually further simplify this fraction down. So what we need to do is divide the top number by 2, and divide the bottom number by 2 because both 6 and 2 can be divided into 2 and what we get is 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 8 divided by 2 is 4 and that 3 on 4 is our final answer for this question it's as simple as that let's take a look at a second example say if we had 1 on 2 plus 3 on 4 this time again same rules apply we multiply the the denominators, so 2 times 4, and we write that in this position here, in the denominator's position, and then we go ahead and multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction, so 1 times 4, and we get is 4. We then carry our addition sign, and then we go and multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the first fraction's denominator, 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Again, as we did before, we add the 4 and the 6 to get our numerator, which is 10. So 10 on 8. Again, what we can do is we can simplify this further. So we can divide the 10 by 2, and we can divide the 8 by 2. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. Here, in this case, what we have is an improper fraction. And what we need to do is we need to write this in a mixed number form. And that simply to divide the top number 5 by 4. So this literally is saying 5 divided by 4. 5 divided by 4 is 1. And then we have 1 remainder. We put that over the division line. And then we keep our original denominator 4. So 1 and 1 quarter, or 1, 1 over 4, is our final answer in this case. Now let's take a look at how we subtract fractions. Again, this is the easiest possible way that you can do these. Say if we, for example, had 7 over 8, and we wanted to take away 2 over 4. Again, what we do is we first multiply the denominators together. So 8 times 4 is 32. We'll write that in the denominator's position. And then here, it's really important that you keep this order. Otherwise, your answer won't be right. So first, we times the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. This is really, really important. So it's 4 sevens are 28. We write that in there. Again, we carry our subtraction sign. And then we multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. Again, this is the easiest way. So 2 times 8, which is 16. So what we do is we go ahead and subtract the 16 from the 28, which is 12. And then we keep our original denominator 32. Go ahead and write that. What we have here is, again, a fraction that can be simplified down. So what we can do is we can divide the 12 by 4, and we can divide the 32 by 4. So again, look for a number that both can go into. 
12 divided by 4 is 3, and 32 divided by 4 is 8. And that 3 over 8 is our final answer. Let's take a look at a second example. Say if we had 1 over 2, take away 1 over 5. Again, same rules apply. We first multiply out the denominators. So this is the first, first step. So 2 times 5 equals 10. We write that in the denominator's position. We then go ahead and multiply the numerator of the first fraction. This is really important. So this is the second step. So step 2. So 1 5 is a 5. It's important that we keep this order. We carry over our subtraction sign. And then we go ahead and multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So this here is our third step. Where can I write this? Let's write it here. So 1 times 2 is 2. We go ahead and again, as we did here, take away the numerators. 5 minus 2 is 3. And we keep our original denominator 10. So 3 over 10. Again, remember, if you do get an improper fraction, what you need to do is, is change it into a mixed fraction or a mixed number. The link for how to change improper fractions to mixed numbers is in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you're unsure about how to do them. Now we're going to apply the same rules for some more complex fractions or uh, mixed fractions to be specific. Say if we had 1, 1 on 2, plus 2, and 1 on 4, 2 and a quarter. The first step here, and quite an important step, is we have to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions. So what we do is we go 1 times 2, which is 2. Then we add on the numerator, which will make it 3. So 3 on 2. We do the same thing here. We go 2 times 4, and then we add the 1, the numerator. So let's take a look. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. So what that equals is 3 on 2, plus 2 fours are 8, plus 1 is 9, 9 on 4. Here what we can do is follow the same exact rules and first multiply out the denominators. What that will give us is 2 fours are 8, that's our denominator. We then go and multiply the numerator of the first fraction by the denominator of the second fraction. 3 fours are 12, carry over our addition sign. And then we multiply the 9 by the 2, which equals 18. So two nines are 18. And then we simply add the 12 and the 18, which is 30. And we carry our denominator, 8. Now what we can do is either convert this into a mixed number straight away or simplify it first. I'm going to go ahead and convert it into a mixed number um, straight away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide 30 into 8. We'll see how many times uh, 8 can go into 30. 3, 8 to 24. So 3 times it can go. And we have 6 remainder. Write it over the fraction line. And then keep our original denominator 8. So 3, 6 on 8 is our final answer in this case. So again, remember the same rules applied here. Now let's take a look at a subtraction with mixed numbers using the same rules that we've learned so far. Say if we had 2. 1 on 2. Take away 1 and 1 quarter, or 1, of, 1 over 4. Again, what we need to do is we have to convert these into improper fractions. 2 2 is a 4, plus 1 is 5. So 5 on 2, minus 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 on 4. Again, same rules apply. What we have to do is we have to multiply the denominators together first. So 2 4 is 8, you write that there. Remember, when it comes to subtraction, the order in which you do these next couple of steps is essential to getting the right answer. So the numerator of the first fraction gets multiplied by the denominator of the second fraction first. So 5 fours are 20, and we can write that there. We carry over our subtraction sign, and then we multiply the numerator of the uh, second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction. So that's the second step. So 2 fives are 10. We subtract 10 from 20, which is 10. 
and then we keep our original denominator 8 and what we can do is because 10 on 8 is an improper fraction because the numerator 10 is larger than the denominator 8 what we have to do is we have to divide 10 into 8 which is 1 and 2 remainder and then we keep the original denominator 8 so 1 2 on 8 is our final answer here in this case. Now the key things to remember is that we have to first multiply the 5 by the 4, so we get 20, and then we multiply the 5 by the 2, okay? So that is the second step. So this is to keep the order. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out and fractions a whole lot less scarier. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.